Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. So you've done some modifications to your car, it's gotten faster, you've seen pictures and video online, decided you want to try your hand at drag racing. Now people who don't know drag racing will tell you it's easy, anybody can do it. Well they're right about the second part, anybody can do it, as long as you have a safe car you can go down the drag strip. The easy part, it's easy to go straight, it's hard to do it consistently, it's even harder to go faster. Now if you're a first timer and never done it before, what we're going to do today is give you the basics of drag racing and tell you what to expect your first time at the strip. Now before you go to the drag strip, the first thing you want to do is go over your car. Make sure your car is safe to go down the quarter mile. And what that means is make sure your tires have tread. I know race tires are full slicks. Well, they're a special compound designed for drag racing. Your street tires, if they're bald, are junk. So make sure you have decent tread. Make sure you have normal air pressure in the tires. Lug nuts are tight. And also check for leaks. No coolant, no oil leaks, nothing like that. If you drip on the track, you're just going to upset the other racers. So make sure the car is safe. Grab some long pants a long sleeve shirt and a helmet if you have one and you're ready to head to the drag strip. Now before we get into what you can expect when you get to the actual track, we're going to do a little bit about tires. Now this is geared more towards your first time drag racer, so we're going to leave slicks out of the equation because honestly if you've never raced before, you should not have a slick on your car anyway. More than likely you're going to have one or two tires. You're going to have your normal street tire or you might have a drag radio. Now if you're running a normal street tire, you want to run it at normal temperature. No burnout. Don't go through the water, nothing like that. This tire, you want to go around the water box, maybe give them a quick spin to clean them off, and you're ready to go. Now, if you have a drag radial, it's a little bit different. Drag radials are designed to work at a lower pressure. Now, what I usually say with a drag radial, whatever diameter the wheel is, is usually where I start. A 20-inch wheel, I start about 20 PSI, a 15-inch wheel around 15 PSI, and so forth and so on. So what you want to do with these now is if you're running a full-size front tire, which you probably are, Again, go around the water box, don't drive through it, but back up, get some water on them, and these you want to do a burnout with. A drag radial has to be hot or it's not going to work. If you just drive around and drive up with a cold tire, it's going to spin just like a street tire. But get these nice and hot, and drag radials can be very effective. What I suggest doing is contact your local track and find out when they're having a test and tune session. A test and tune is a very informal day of testing, which is perfect for a first time racer. What you're going to do when you get to the track is you're going to pay your fee, you're going to fill out some paperwork, and then you're going to go to tech. At tech, an official of the track is going to give your car a once over. Make sure the battery's mounted properly, make sure your wheels and tires are mounted, make sure your tires have tread, make sure the car is safe to go down the track. Now, a couple things are going to vary by track and you want to check ahead of time. But usually, if you're on a $13.99 or faster, you'll need a helmet. If you're on an $11.49 or faster, you'll need a six-point roll bar, five-point harness, and a fire jacket. All right, so once you pass tech, now you're ready to make your first pass down the drag strip. What you want to do is go to the staging lanes, and then one of the track officials will call you down to the track. Now, what you're going to see is a water box. And like I mentioned before, if you're on a street tire, you want to go around that water box. There's no reason to go through it, as your tires aren't going to do any better by getting wet. Leave that for the race cars with the drag slicks on them. Go around the water box. Again, if you have a drag radial, you can back up to the edge and do a burnout. But a street tire, again, clean the tires off and you're ready to stage. Now staging is the probably most intimidating part for a first time racer, but we're going to show you in detail how to properly do it. Now, when you pull up to the tree to the beams, the first thing you're going to do is hit the pre-stage beam. That's going to be the first light. At this point, you're going to wait for your competitor to do the same thing. This is known as courtesy staging. You don't want to go in all the way, let them get even. Now once all those pre-stage lights are hit, then you can move forward just a little bit inch forward to your full stage lights on. Now what's going to happen here, once you do that, your competitors can do the same thing. The lights are going to drop and you're going to go on green. Now, a second ago, I mentioned to go on green, but realistically, you actually don't want to do that. You're going to go on the third yellow because you have five tenths of a second to move the car, but you're not going to respond that quickly. Now, there are two different styles of trees. There's a sportsman where you'll get three yellows and then a green, or a pro tree where you get all three and then green. It's a little bit faster. But your first time at the track, if you're there for a test and soon, you're going to get a sportsman tree. Don't worry too much about the light. Cutting a good light is great. It's definitely a fun part of drag racing, but if you have a slow reaction time, it in no way affects your quarter mile pass. But again, the best thing you try to do, hit that third yellow, get as close as possible. But keep in mind, the harder you try, the more than likely you're going to get the dreaded red light, which means you went a little too fast. And once you stage and get your green light and get on the track, now it's time to actually race. Now again, you got to manage your expectations your first time at the track. Even if you have an 11 second car, you're probably not going to run 11 your first time out. Just leave the light nice and smooth like you're leaving a traffic light. Get a feel for the track and a feel for drag racing and get your first time slip. Now again, don't expect the car to run as fast as possible. Everybody online might say that's going to go 11s all day long. Don't be upset if you run a 13 your first pass. It takes a lot of work to consistently get a car down the track. 
The way you can do that is once you get down the first time, try a more aggressive launch, a little bit higher RPM each time to reach that point where you get your best 60 foot time. Now, once you get on the track, know where the track ends as well. There's going to be a cone, there'll be a stripe, there'll be lights. Either way, once you go through them, it's time to slow down. If the guy in front of you is still in front of you, he already won the race. Catching him is not going to do you any good once the race is over. Make sure you slow down, know where the return road is. On the way back, you're going to pick up your time slip. Now, this is what your normal time slip is going to look like. You want to know what lane you were in and what your car number is, because every car is going to have its own number. But then you're going to look basically right down here. RTZ reaction time, that's how quickly you reacted to the light. A triple zero is the dream, that's the perfect light, that's what you want to get. The closer to perfect, the better off you are. The next one's going to be your 60 foot. 60 foot usually is going to make or break a race. The better traction you get, the quicker your 60 foot time is going to be. For a street tire car, anything in the 2.0 range, low 2s, high 1.9s is about what you can expect for a good street tire car. And this is going to be how quickly you got to the 330 foot mark. This will be your eighth mile. Eighth mile is going to be your first speed as well. So this is how quick you covered an eighth of a mile, and that's how fast you were going. And the next line on a quarter mile track will be a thousand foot, and finally the bottom number, which will be your quarter mile time out to the thousandth, along with your speed. I'm going to warn you now, drag racing is addictive, and the faster you go, the worse the addiction actually gets, and the more money you're going to spend as well. But for your first time out, don't worry about records. Don't worry about what your buddy says the car should run. He probably doesn't race anyway. Go out to the track, be safe, and most importantly, have some fun.